Hello, my name is Hiroyuki Terauchi. Um, I'm talk about the contribution to open source project as a bachelor intern. Before I talk about this topic, I introduce by myself a little bit. Uh, name is Hiroyuki Terauchi. Please call me Hiro. I came from Japan. I am not a professional software engineer, but I use Python and JavaScript in my job as a data entry. I would like to be a professional software engineer uh, very near future, so I learn programming every day. So this is a very relevant topic for me too. The, um, we have the big problem for who, people who want to become software engineer. How to have real experiences as a software engineer to become a software engineer? The many people uh, advise us to build your own project is a good option. Also, um, some people say that contribute to open source software project is good option. So I'm talk about the second option. But before I talk about the option itself, I'll talk about what is the open source software project. So what is open source software? Open source software is a software with source code that anyone can inspect, modify, and enhance. You can look at many open source software on GitHub. So if you commit to open source software project, you can have good experience as a software engineer. However, also there is a problem, uh, especially the open source software, a very famous open source software, uh, are very hard to commit, such as uh, Linux or uh, web server like Nginx or uh, web uh, browser Chromium or uh, web framework Django. Uh, we can I can uh, pick up a lot of famous one, but it's very hard. Even uh, the newbie friendly. Open source software projects is hard to commit if you uh, you don't have not so much experience as a software developer. So there is a, a different route to commit open source project, and this called is bachelor internship. The bachelor internship is a work experience program where the participant gain experience while working in a remote professional setting and is not physically present at job location. And unfortunately, the bachelor internship is unpaid. However, the bachelor internship is very flexible. And when starts the bachelor internship, this the flexibility is perfect for me. So my situation, um, at this time, when I started bachelor internship, I was a full-time computer science student at Northeastern State University. And I had a full-time job as a data entry. So, however, I would like to have a real experience as a software developer, but I cannot take a real internship because I have to work full time due to our financial reasons. So I found a bachelor internship at Open Learning Exchange. The Open Learning Exchange is a social benefit organization which provides an educational infrastructure to refugee camps in Africa. The Open Learning Exchange has two 
teams. Uh, one is called Three Houses. The Three Houses team developed the tiny uh, web server called Three Houses. Uh, the server working on the Raspberry Pi. Second team called Three Houses Remote. This team develops Android application to provide interface to control three houses via Bluetooth. I belong to a team of three houses. The before joining uh, three houses team as virtual intern, I applied uh, to the open learning exchange. At first, I sent a resume and after my resume was accepted, I go through, I went, I'm sorry, I went through 10 steps to run based technology. That's in term you always use this as a virtual in term. And the 10 steps is kind of the entrance exam. I run Git, GitHub, basic Linux command, Raspberry Pi, Docker, Beam, through the 10 steps. After I completed the 10 steps, I was officially accepted as bachelor internship. So there are three meetings in every week. And each meeting keeps for three hours to five hours. And uh, in term, belong to the team at least for three months. Then um, intern should work on its project at least 15 hours a week. Uh, however, because of my situation, I cannot fulfill this uh, the recommendation. However, um, my tech lead accepted my situation um, and uh, uh, if you have uh, willing to run, willing to commit to the project, uh, you are okay. So this is in my case. So general uh, cycle of the internship like this. First, tech leads gives issue depending on, depending on scale level. Then tech leads gives some information how to solve the issue. Then if you don't know the technology relating the issue, at first you run the technology. Then make solution for the issue, then make pull request. The basically pull request is the upload your solution on the GitHub on for the open learning exchange. Then the uh, team member and tech lead can look evaluate your solution. Then tech lead makes feedback for the pull request. If the solution is a need to be improved, you improve the solution. Then if the grid uh, consider the pull request is good enough, your pull request is matched uh, as the actual production. Then I accomplish several uh, stuff while uh, for uh, the bachelor internship. This is what I learned for the uh, technology wise. The also I learned how to communicate via online. My English skill or how to communicate on the Git, uh, GitHub or something like that. It's very good experience. So how to start the battery internship? Only I know the Open Learning Exchange, so I only give you that Open Learning Exchange internship information. 
So open learning exchange is still invite virtual intern. You can apply from way up. It's one with a job board. There are two routes, three houses, which I belong, and three houses remote. Uh, they develop the Android application. The main technology is uh, Kotlin. Unfortunately, it is not like that. Everyone can be accepted, but it is worth to try. Uh, if you accept it, you can get a lot of experience through the virtual internship. If you have some question relating this topic, I am happy to answer your question. Thank you very much for listening to 